Are you using CarPlay with your iPhone on your 24 Road Glider Street Glide? Have you figured out how to get Siri to work while you're riding down the road? I have. Stick around and I'm gonna show you all the steps it takes to make it work. Morning. What's up? Jim here. Welcome back to J Street Moto. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. So if you're like me, certain things kind of just, it's like, I gotta figure out how to do them. I guess is a good way to put it. And I will freely admit, maybe I'm very late to the party on this one and everybody else has already figured it out on their own. If so, drop it down in the comments. But I don't think I've seen a video that talks about this specific topic and since I figured it out and solved it, uh, I thought I would share it with you because maybe you would find it uh, useful when you're riding down the road. Now, first and foremost, this is going to be a video It's pretty much only going to apply to people that ride their bikes with helmets that have comm systems in them. If you remember from previous videos about uh, the the um how carplay works on this bike on the 24 road glide i'm pretty sure it's the same on the 24 street glide in order for you to get carplay to work you have to have a comm system attached to it and and i've showed you a video of how to trick that with that device that you put under your seat from tim stereo systems i'll drop it down in the in the description but one thing that bugged me was with CarPlay, I could see a message come up. And even when I'm wearing my helmet, I hit the I hit the play button on it and it won't read the message to me. And so um, it certainly won't read the message to me if you're tricking it out and you're just wearing a half helmet. So this video is gonna be specific to those of you that constantly wear or predominantly wear full helmets and you have comm systems in them. I figured out how to get Siri to work through CarPlay and your helmet. And like I said, maybe all of you have already figured this out too, I don't know, but I figured it out and I thought if I didn't know how to do it and I had to figure it out and it was bothering me, maybe some of you are in the same boat. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you kind of how to set it up, I guess is a good way to put it. All right, and it's gonna be kind of chunked up into how do you have to set your iPhone up? What things do you have to do on the bike in order to get it to work? That kind of thing. So I'm gonna start the video with showing you kind of what you're gonna need to do is a good way to put it. Once you have started your motorcycle and you have connected your helmet to it and you have connected your phone to it and you get CarPlay up and running, if you wanna activate Siri, if you wanna call Siri up, because the Hey Siri is not gonna work all the time. Sometimes it does, but I, I wasn't successful getting it to work all the time. What does work all the time is, there's a button on your handlebar, and it is right there. You press that button, the little Siri dot comes up, and you can say, call whoever through your helmet, and they will call them. If you wanna text someone, you can say text, whoever, and the text will go through. Then you, when the text comes back, you just push the play button on your screen and all of a sudden you're listening to the text and it allows you to reply, just like what you do in any car that has CarPlay. If you've been wondering what that button's for, that's what that button's for. I'll demo it. I'll put the helmet on, I'll connect it to the bike, I'll connect the phone to the bike, I'll get everything running, and then I'll show you what I mean when you press that button, all right? Be right back. I think what I'm gonna do is do it from accessory mode so I can continue to talk you through it instead of, uh, you know, having to override kind of the sound of the bike and the engine noise. So in case you don't know, if you're new to these models, to turn your bike into accessory mode as long as you have the fob present, Press this button forward and hold it. And the screen will come on. 
and it'll behave just like it would if the bike was running. It's gonna come up, it's gonna connect the helmet to the bike. I gotta turn the helmet on. Ooh, that's a good thing to do. And in case you're curious, yes, this is my Cena Outrush R helmet. Don't know what version of the Cena comm system it's using, but it works with it works with what I'm getting ready to do. I can imagine Cardo and all the other ones are gonna do the same thing. It just connected the helmet to the bike. And now you'll see we have CarPlay because my phone connected to the bike too. And currently I have my phone connected via Bluetooth. It doesn't matter whether it's connected via Bluetooth or whether it's plugged into the port inside your glove box. I usually connect mine to the port in the glove box because I like to charge it and like to make sure it stays charged. But sometimes I don't feel like doing it and I just leave my phone in my pocket. Everything's on. Now, watch what happens when I push this button. There's the Siri dot. Right there. Now I'm going to place a call. Call Anne Marie. Hey, babe. See? Now watch this. Push the same button. Text one. Hey buddy, I hope you're having a good time at the beach. So you can send, receive texts, you can call people, all of it through CarPlay if you have an iPhone. And you know, just by using that button right there. I didn't know it. If you knew it, and I'm just, you know, stupid and slow, haven't figured shit out as fast as everybody else has, drop it in the comments and let me know. But I thought this was cool. It's something that's been bugging me for a while. I mean, if I'm gonna wear my full, especially when it's cold or raining or whatever, and or you know, if it's a nice day and I just wanna make a call or hear a text, I can now do it. And I've shown you how to do it. Now in a minute, I'm going to, we're gonna pause the video here. I'm going to open up the settings in my phone and I'm gonna show you how I have Siri configured that I know 100% will work this way. So stick around. All right, so if you have an iPhone, you probably already know how to do this, but I wanted to show you how my settings are. And uh, so, yeah, it's probably gonna be a little rudimentary for you. Hopefully there's no glare on the phone and you can see it. So to activate Siri, if you don't know how to do that, you go into your settings, then you scroll down, and you'll see a setting for Siri and search. It's right there. Press that, and here's how my settings are for Siri. I have, I have it set to listen for that. Hey, S-I-R-I. That's what I have it set to listen to. This button is on. This button is on, so it allows it when the phone is locked. I've got mine set to English because that's what I am. And this is the voice. You can select other voices. It, you know, it gives you some options. You can select the responses that it gives you. I don't have anything, I, I just prefer spoken responses and I don't have any of this on. I don't want them to show the caption or any of that stuff. I don't need it. You can put it so that you can hang it up via your voice after the call's over, or you can just push the touch screen on your, on your motorcycle and it'll hang up the call. I have mine set to announce calls through the headphones only. So it's only when I'm on the bike. And that's so that I don't have to look at the screen to see who's calling me. You can announce notifications. I turned that off. My information, I don't have anything populated in there. There is a dictionary in history and there is messaging with this app. I have all three of those turned on. 
content from Apple. These just came defaulted, turned on, so I left them on. Allow notifications, allow in the app library, show when sharing, show when listening. I allowed all that stuff. The rest of this stuff is just the apps that you can potentially control. Yeah, so like I said at the beginning of this video, I might be late to the party. Everyone might know about this already, and I'm just the last one to figure it out. I have no clue. What I did know was I searched YouTube for answers and there were no videos about making this work on a 24 road glide or street glide. So I decided I would figure it out. Really more it bothered me because I didn't know if we could even do it. But I've showed you that if you have a helmet with a comm system in it and you connect that helmet to uh, the bike and you connect your iPhone to the bike and you press that button on the handlebar, you can use Siri through your helmet to place calls to whoever you want to call, to send text messages to whoever you want to send text messages to. You can hear the text messages that come in. And I thought that I would just, you know, show you guys what I had figured out. If I am the last one to figure this out, please, drop it in the comments. This is the first time I've had a touring motorcycle that had any kind of technology built in from the manufacturer. So I don't know, maybe everybody, maybe that's just a button that's been there on all of the street glides and road glides going back for the past couple of models and, and people know if I push that, I'm gonna be able to tell my phone to call someone. I have no clue, drop it in the comments. But I do know I figured out how to get Siri to work. And I was pretty proud of that. It's great riding weather, especially here, starting to cool off a little bit. Bikes love it. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that it's taught you something that you didn't know. I hope you look at it and go, holy crap, I didn't know I could use Siri on my 24 model bike. I know one thing for certain, this is gonna be the first video on YouTube that tells you how to do it. Put some miles down before it gets too cold up north. We're down here in the south, we're gonna keep putting miles down for a lot longer. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. Get out with your friends, check on your friends, go ride with your friends. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>